Good morning, all of our Saints followers. Um, today we are continuing our studies um, in astronomy. With a, uh, we're gonna go into the Milky Way for the next few days. So each day we are gonna read a new book. That's gonna be how we're gonna run our summer school. Each day we're gonna read a book. Um, maybe together, maybe not together. Today, uh, my Sphinx has decided they wanted to read the book themselves. So in order to assure that they are reading and understanding what they are reading. Um, I allowed them to each read the book, which is The Milky Way by, St hold on, Steve Camp, And I'm going to ask them 10 questions that I chose from the book. And uh, for my oldest Sphinx, which is right here, Miss Sphinx, she has to answer correctly Six out of the ten questions. That's more than half, so I think that's more than fair. Now, my younger Sphinx, he'll have to answer at least half of the questions, right? Which would be five questions on his behalf. Now, um, when we do these type of learning exercises, I guess, we actually go all across the board. For example, uh, she started reading this book, and we ended up looking up whether or not each galaxy has a black hole in them. So I like these types of um, this method of learning because it leads to so many other subjects and topics that can be discussed. Um, so without further ado, I think I said that right. I'm going to conduct this short little interview with Miss Lady about what she read. Are you ready? Yes. All right, question number one. And this is on camera, so you can't say that ain't what I said. All right, you ready? What do the people in China call the Milky Way? The Silver River. Nice. That's number one. Okay. Tiny part. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Is the Milky Way made up of only stars and planets? Nope. What else is it made up of? Gas and dust and stars and planets. Very nice. Number two is correct. Number three. What is the shape of the Milky Way galaxy? Spiral. A spiral. And where are we in that spiral? Like the, almost the edge. And what is it called? It, our solar system, what is the whole thing called? Oh. <laughs> okay, that was actually just a bonus question, so I'm not going to hold that one against you. But we're called in what's, um, what is called the Orion Cygnus arm of the Milky Way galaxy. That wasn't in the book, just by the way. Okay, D -d 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 about how big is the Milky Way galaxy? According to scientists, how many light years? A hundred thousand light years. Away. Very nice, very nice. Was that question number four or five? Four. Four. Because I got the other one. Mm. Are you ready for this one? How many miles does light travel in one year? I don't know is a good answer. The correct answer is six trillion miles. About six trillion miles or ten trillion kilometers in a year. Bonus question. Do you know the speed of light? What is it? Six trillion? Negative. <laughs> speed of light is approximately 186 thousand kilometers per second. I think I said that right. If not, somebody correct me in the comments. Okay, how long does it take light to travel from Earth to the moon? That's question number six. One, one light year? No, one light year. It would never get here. Oh, 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 oh. Eight light Eight. No, no, not eight light years. I don't know what. 
For further reference, saying I don't know is better than guessing. Um, I don't know. <laughs> one second. What, what, one second? If you go outside and look up, you see the moon, right? It doesn't take long to get to you. So you would see the moon when it looks like right now? Yeah. The moon is not that far away from you. Remember, the further something is away for you, the longer or the more light years it takes for that light to get to you. Everything that's in our solar system really is not going to take you longer than a few seconds to a few minutes to get to you. Like the moon, not the moon, excuse me, the sun takes about seven or eight minutes for its light to reach you. Yeah. So yeah. keep that in mind. If the moon, I mean, excuse me, if the sun only takes that long, then obviously the moon, which is closer, is not going to take that long, right? All right. You get, does that make sense is what I'm trying to get at. Okay. Next question, question number seven. Number six, I think. I think number six. Number six, number seven. Um, let's see. How long does it take our sun to orbit around the galaxy? 250 mil, 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 billion, yeah, billion years. Million. You were right the first time. So I will give you that one on the strength that you actually remembered the 250 part. So I'll give you that one. Um, let's see. What year did Galileo turn his telescope to the sky? Oh, no. Give me a guesstimate. 1978? Oh, my God. He was dead a long time before 1978. I will put you out of your misery. 1609. 1609. That was when Galileo first looked into the sky through a telescope. Come on, man. <laughs> you had to be born that long ago. Exactly. Yeah. Um, let's see. What is the galaxy that's supposed to crash into the Milky Way in the next three billion years? Well, thank you very much. I didn't finish my question. <laughs> yes, Andromeda is supposed to crash into, um, well, not crash into, excuse me. They're going to, well, it means the same thing. No crashing means they're going to be like this. That's crash. So what does collide mean? If I run into you and you run into me, that's a collision. Oh. Same thing as a crash. Oh, oh no. All right. Um, what does orbit mean? To circle around? Yeah, that's exactly what it means. Um, two more questions. Two more questions. Uh, no. What is an astronomer? No. These are simple. No. Speak louder, please. Someone who give it back. Please excuse our normal noise. Let it go, please. Okay, just let her hold it until we get done. Let her hold it. Let her, let her hold it. Okay. What's an astronomer? Someone. Who studies, who studies the outer and inner space. They study stars, planets, and other objects in space. That would be anybody who decides, well, I want to look outside and know what that is above my head. So you're an astronomer, I'm an astronomer, Dad's an astronomer. Everyone's We're all astronomers. Astronomer. Astronomer. Not everybody. Some people don't care. So they Some wouldn't people don't look up. No, they really don't. They Carelessness. Really don't. <laughs> Carelessness. Message. Okay, back to work. And the last question I have to ask you, Miss Lady. What's a galaxy? Really? Really? The questions get harder tomorrow. It's a cluster. Mm hmm. Of planets, stars, other objects, aliens, moons, more planets, stars, even more stars. And dust what? and what? gases and nebulas. Well, actually, a nebula is like a baby galaxy. And a black hole. Black holes. That's what galaxies are. Black holes. 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 Black holes.
Jackson. All things space. Hey, give me my glasses back. All right. And that is going to conclude the Sphinx's What I Learned Today reading the Milky Way book. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, Young Sphinx is coming up next for part two of today's, um, I don't know what you call this today, Astronomy with the Sphinxes. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. How about you? That's nice. That's nice. That's what we'll call the video. In space with the Sphinxes. <laughs> All right. See you later.